If Tony was a veritable playboy in Iron Man 1, then Iron Man 2 can be said to have witnessed Tony's transformation process. Not long ago, Tony announced to the outside world that he was Iron Man. From that moment on, Tony became a household hero and gained countless fans. Everyone fantasized about owning such a suit of armor, and even the military demanded that Tony hand over the latest technology. But Tony said that no one will master the battle armor technology in the next 20 years, but Tony was instantly slapped in the face. In an old house in Moscow, Russia, an old man was lying calling for his son Ivan. The old man had studied with Tony's father when he was young, he was kicked out of the company because of smuggling weapons privately, he pointed to Tony on the TV, the old man said that all this belonged to Ivan originally, and the old man had nothing left for Ivan, and the rest was the reactor design drawings, as soon as the words fell, the old man died, Ivan was heartbroken and blamed Tony for all this, Ivan held a grudge against Tony Dot in order to avenge his shame. Ivan found his father's reactor blueprint and began to build a reactor that belonged to Ivan. After continuous experimentation, a reactor capable of rivaling Tony was born, Ivan connected the reactor and the weapon together, and the strongest super invincible lightning on earth was born, however, Tony's physical condition was getting worse day by day, the core energy of iron armor comes from the reactor in the chest, the core energy is a piece of target element. The target element contains a large amount of toxins, due to the long term existence in Tony's body, the body has been attacked by toxins, but apart from the target element, there is no object on the earth that can replace its existence. Tony needs to drink a lot of chlorophyll every day to suppress toxins, in order to better manage the company, Tony gave up the seat of the company's president to Anna, and also found a legal counsel Shirley for Anna to transfer the position. But Tony was attracted by Shirley's hot body, Shirley's next operation will not be simple, Shirley is deeply attracted to Tony. The days passed day by day, every time Tony tested the toxin would increase, and the toxin had risen to 50% at present. If it continued to increase, Tony's body would definitely be in danger. In order to relax, Tony asked Anna to accompany him to the racetrack to watch the car race, but Tony did not tell Anna about the next race. And during Tony's race, a staff member pushed the guardrail and walked into the track, and he came to revenge on Tony. Ivan unbuttoned his jacket, revealing the reactor of Tony's same style, stretched out his lightning whip with both hands, and the moment it was activated. The device on his back was exposed, Ivan walked forward slowly, waiting for Tony to arrive, facing the approaching racing car, Ivan swung his lightning whip and easily cut off the front of the car, the racing car overturned dozens of meters in an instant, and everyone on the scene was stunned, then Ivan swung his lightning whip again, splitting Tony's car in half. Dotted. this time, Tony without armor was very passive, and Tony was beaten helplessly. At this time, Mick came over in time with Anna, and drove Ivan into the wall, just as Tony was about to get in the car, the door was split in half, after some operations by Ivan, the car was chopped into scrap iron. A T the critical moment, Anna finally handed the suitcase to Tony. Tony took the box smoothly, Tony, who had put on his battle armor, was full of combat power, he kicked the car away first, and was ready to run towards Ivan, unexpectedly, Ivan launched a combo, interrupting Tony's attack, at this time, the battle armor was severely damaged, but Tony didn't panic at all, Tony grabbed the lightning whip, carried the lightning and walked towards Ivan, and then threw Ivan to the ground. Tony removed the reactor on Ivan's chest, looking at the fake reactor, Tony couldn't believe that someone had already mastered this technology. The police took Ivan into prison, and Tony came to ask, wanting to know why he attacked himself, only then did Tony learn of the grievances between the two previous generations. Then Tony reminded Ivan how to modify the reactor and left, at this moment, Tony's toxin has almost reached 90. Tony, who was planning to hold a birthday party, asked Lisa beside him, if this is your last birthday party, how would you like to celebrate it? And Lisa told Tony, do whatever you want, after listening to what Lisa said, Tony began to let himself go. T the birthday party that day, Tony put on his armor and danced on the stage, Colonel Robert came to see this scene. Angry Robert put on Mark II to stop Tony's behavior, but Tony didn't intend to stop, so Robert took coercive measures. The two immediately started a duel, the two fought all the way from the top of the building to the downstairs. They were fighting on the surface, but they were actually demolishing the house, at this time, Anna and Lisa downstairs were chatting, the two fought all the way to the lobby, back and forth in full view, seeing that going on like this is not an option. In the end, it was decided to launch light speed cannons at each other to determine the outcome.
After the explosion, the whole house was in a mess. Watching Tony sitting aside, Robert decided to take Tony's armor. After the last racing incident, Ivan's ability caught Hans' attention. Then Hans began to arrange for his men to rescue Ivan from prison. Hans wants Ivan to help build the same armor as Tony. On the surface, Ivan agreed to Hans. After a period of time, the armor was manufactured in batches. What Hans wanted was the same armor as Tony, but the armor he made was remote controlled. Tony is eating pizza. Nissen, director of Shield, found Tony again, in order for Nissen to let Tony join the mysterious group he founded. Nissen told Tony that he could cure the toxins on his body. The method is hidden in a box left by Tony's father. At this point, Lisa injected the drug into Tony's neck in order to prevent Tony from messing around again. Shield continues to send Lisa to monitor Tony so that Tony can study the items left by his father. Tony played the videotape and suddenly found that there was still a deleted scene. Tony watched intently what was playing. I built this for you. This is the key to the future. Inspired by his father's words, Tony came to the company and took the sand table away. With Jarvis' help, Tony saw Adams clearly and intact. This is the new element that Tony has been looking for for a long time. Subsequently, Tony began to dismantle the house by a series of equipment and assemble a photon accelerator. The moment Tony started it, a blue light was emitted. A reactor of entirely new elements was born. At this time, Hans heard that the military had obtained Tony's armor and immediately rushed over to sell his equipment. Hans took out the missile and recommended it to Robert. Subsequently, the military agreed to hand over the Mark II to Hans for modification. On the other hand, Ivan improved the reactor according to the method Tony said before. The modified reactor was very close to Tony's. At the same time, Ivan also created a super powerful lightning whip. Hans also understands that he has invited something useless. Hans wanted a battle frame, not a bunch of useless robots, in desperation. He led someone to snatch Ivan's pet away. Hans told Ivan that he was going to use these robots as backgrounds and at the same time promote his modified Mark II. Hans arranged for bodyguards to guard Ivan and after Ivan got rid of the bodyguards. Ivan called Tony to declare war. Ivan intends to launch an attack at the upcoming Stark Expo. So Tony immediately placed the reactor, which hadn't had time to test, on his chest. Tony here, Jarvis. <laughs> ah, I like coconut. No. Oh, yeah, yeah! On the day of the expo, Hans showed off the brand new armor cores. Armor cores is divided into three types, sea, land, and air, all of which can be realized to carry out devastating blows to the target. Then the Mark II came out slowly. After Hans modified the Mark II, it was improved in all aspects. T this time. Tony also rushed to the scene in time, and Tony told Robert that this was Ivan's conspiracy. In order not to cause panic, arrangements must be made for the safe evacuation of on-site personnel on the way to Tony's Stark Expo. Robert's Mark II suddenly raised his gun and locked on Tony, and the armor cores behind him also aimed at Tony. It turned out that this was Ivan's conspiracy. In order to avoid harming the innocent, Tony immediately flew into the sky. All armors attacked in Tony's direction. The scene was even more chaotic. The armored cores walked straight into the crowd, while the rest of the cores took off on the spot and chased after Tony. The two sides fought in the air, under Ivan's control. The armored cores became a destruction machine. Ivan expanded the attack target to the surrounding population. At this time, the battle armor was aimed at a child, and when he was about to launch an attack, Tony arrived in time. The Mark II output to Tony in the air, and the whole city fell into chaos in an instant. T this time, Mick took Lisa to the hiding place of the hospital. As soon as he entered the door, Mick fought with the guard at the door. Lisa bypassed smoothly, released the electric shock, and completed a solo kill. First, Double kill. Triple kill. Quadra kill. Kill. Eight. Lisa's quick and smooth operation stunned Mick in front of him. At this time, Tony was still fighting in the air when the Mark II suddenly flew towards Tony and the two fell from the tower. Mark II stood up suddenly, pressed Tony and began to shoot in the face. Lisa also came to Ivan's control room smoothly and released the control of Mark II in time. Robert was knocked off the ground by Tony and passed out at the same time. All the armored regiments flew towards Tony together. Tony, who is fighting alone, is definitely not an opponent. So Tony wakes up Robert to join forces. Then the battle armor arrived one after another and the two of them opened fire instantly. More and more enemies came, and Tony used the Mark V Nirvana, instantly eliminated all enemies present. When the two thought the battle was over.
Ivan fell from the sky, and at this moment, Ivan had the strongest weapon, the lightning whip. Robert stood up confidently and let Ivan taste the power of the- Early shells.at this time, Ivan launched an attack, whipped his lightning whip, and fought with the two of them. Robert shot at Ivan, and was hit by the lightning whip thrown by Ivan in the next second, facing the battle armor modified by Ivan. It is obvious that the two are not rivals, Ivan threw out a lightning whip and trapped the two, just when the two couldn't move. Tony remembered the bombing incident with Robert at the villa, so the two decided to do it again. The explosion on the wave knocks Ivan down, the cunning Ivan activated the self-detonation devices of all the armor cores before he died. And Ivan wanted to blow up everything near the armor.at this time Tony realized that Anna was in danger, and the armor showed that Anna was within the range of the explosion, Tony flew to Anna's side as fast as he could. At the last moment before the explosion, Tony saved Anna just in time, the heroic deeds of Tony and Robert were commended by the government, and Tony also received an invitation letter from Shield, which is exactly the plan of the Avengers. On the other side, Coulson, the former director of Shield, came to a wilderness, and Coulson found a mysterious hammer from outer space, at the same time, this also hints at the debut of another Marvel superhero.